Boost here. <clears throat> okay, we need to move that stuff. Okay, hello, I'm Steve Buff, and I'm here to explain you what are we going to do here today. So, this is our very first uh, water treatment system, which we are going to upgrade. The reason for that is that monitoring that comes with it is not enough. It was the very first system we learned from it. We now know what we want. It was installed by partly contractors, partly by us. And now we have to change it so it gives us what we want. One of the examples <coughs> that is the water level sensor which only triggers WTS system to start producing water, so we are not able to monitor it. And it only gives us high level, low level, which is not really flexible. We prefer to know exactly how much water is in this tank. Is this WTS system is requested and request it remotely if we need to. Okay, the, the layout of the system is quite simple. Is two main water supplies they fill the black tank from the black tank the pump takes the water passes it through the wts system which is reverse osmosis unit and clean water is put into the blue tank for evaporation in the chamber so for all this we will today we will break everything apart and in the next episode we will start putting a new pipe in So, yeah. what, do you, what do you need? Yeah, I need this to be taken apart and then yeah. we can rebuild it in the way we want it. Okay, no okay. problem. Yeah, disconnect everything, clean the tank, clean the tank, pipes, all pipes, all this should go and become a perfect rigid pipes. Yeah. Obviously two inputs to this, we don't need two inputs, they're not resilient, so yeah, one of them. So once you take it apart, it will be easier to know what we need to do further. Once yeah. we get the components, pipes, we can have a look and see how we put it back. Yeah, okay. Sounds, yeah. sounds good. Okay, so we agreed with the column what needs to be done and I'll leave him to do the work and I'll catch up with him and I'll be back with you guys once we have this all apart. Okay, welcome to my desk now. I left Callum to do the work downstairs and I'll explain what is the target here. So as you can see on the diagram, we have two water feeds. We have means of measuring the pressure. We have means of bypassing the pump. If it fails through the water reduction, uh, water pressure reduction valve. And the goal is to supply the WTS system, which is reverse osmosis plant system with as reliable water supply as possible. So once the water is, is cleaned using WTS system, it goes into the clean water tank. And from the clean water tank, we have again a pump uh, expansion vessel to minimize the pressure fluctuations. And we have pressure sensor and we have two outputs. Output to two humifolks that are on the same uh, handling unit in that room. As you can see, one of them is fed from the other room and other one is fed from this room we are currently rebuilding. So we have a means of feeding them both from either feed and also to supply water from this system back into the other room should a failure occur on that side. Yeah, okay, so that's the diagram of what we're going to build and let's see how it goes.
Okay, so I will show you around because as you can see, now it's in bits. So we've done the first step, we ditched everything and now it's ready to start putting it back. So WTS system, reverse osmosis plant, which is looked after uh, by a manufacturer. It's got output, drain, input, ready to be connected. Drains, water supplies, we got two water supplies because water is quite critical for a diabetic system. So we got two water supplies, which is treated, put into the tank. And we also have a clean water supply from other room, which is ready to go. And as you can see, it's still plumbed into the systems. As I say, it's unlikely that we'll need it because it's not too dry, it's not too hot outside, but just in case it stayed there, ready to go, just in case we need it. Black tank, if you remember, it was in the corner, so we moved it on the other side, so we allow for easier cleaning because we need to clean it once a year. Water is quite clean, but still some dirt is accumulating over the year so we, we're cleaning it and it's, it allows us to easier clean it. Expansion vessel doesn't require much maintenance so we put it into the corner. New pipe work is going here and new control system is going on that wall. Stay with us and I'll show you in the next episode how it's going. <laughs>